So I've been working on this tool, the automated lip sync tool. And the idea is that the, the animator can set up all the facial models for uh, lip sync and tie them together to some uh, audio and automatically generate lip sync uh, keyframe animation. So in the scene here, I've got my, uh, my character and I've also modeled a, uh, a bunch of faces to represent all the different mouse shapes. So I've got 14 different mouse shapes that I've put. So that's, there's, a, there's an O mouse shape, for example. So all I, all I need to do is select all the, these shapes and uh, create a blend shape. So these are the blend shapes and all I have to do is, is I can, well, I can hide those now. And uh, when I go back to my character model, there's the blend shape node and we've got all those connected to the base model. So this is where my tool comes in. Just launch the tool here. So here's the interface. And uh, the idea of this interface, it guides the user through the process of generating the, uh, the keyframe animation. We've got the project directory set at the top. So we're gonna get an audio file. So here's my audio file here with Tanya. And um, I've, oh, well, what I've got here is I've got a set of uh, different audio files. So here's, here's with Tanya and um, that's, I um, can't hear that at the moment for some reason, but uh, that's how it goes. And that's got an associated piece of text to represent what's in the actual file itself. So let's go back into Maya. So I've selected the, uh, the audio file and here is uh, the text file with Tanya. So now we've got them, there, there's the text. We've got, we've got that all set up. And so the interface tells us that we've got that mapped. So I'm trying to make it really easy for the artist to uh, work with uh, uh, this tool so that they're guided through the process. There's uh, three of the tasks that they need to do before they can generate keyframes. So I've used uh, an interface to uh, create the actual phoneme track uh, using a framework called Gentle. So this, uh, this process analyzes phonemes launches the uh, the gentle uh, phoneme analysis and that analyzes the audio file and uh, and creates a phoneme track so we create the phoneme track now so uh, we've got the next stage is to map these uh, map the channels that which are the blend shapes to um, to uh, visims so what I'm going to do I'm going to select my rig in the mapping section and uh, so there's my uh, rig connected and we're going to create a new visiting map and uh, so this is um, a blank template i've got and it's like a default template which takes all the recognized gentle phonemes and maps them to a series of 14 visiings and what i've what i've got to do i've got to connect these visiings to uh, the blend shapes that i've uh, created in my rig model so that's a straightforward process. This has to be manually done. I could do it automatically, but I figured that uh, the artist might want to uh, have a, a custom setup or have a, um, a particular naming system they want to stick to. But it's, it's quite simple. The list of uh, blend shapes that they've um, got is dictated by which blend shapes haven't yet been mapped. So it's, uh, it's quite quick to uh, hook these up. So that's the RR blend shape, blend shape RR. And one more to do. That is like the most boring computer game ever, like matching the blend shape <laughs> names to the visims. Yeah, so um, so here we are. So um, in the second, well, this fourth column, I suppose you'd call it, that's, uh, these are all the phonemes that, um, that are linked to each visim. So the visim is what the, what the, the face looks like when when it's saying phoneme so different um, sounds can be represented by the same shape like a g sound and a k sound they both go and use the uh, the kk blend shape so even though we've got over 50 different uh, phonemes here they uh, they're all represented um, by this sort of subset of visims and if we go to the bottom, after the phoneme analysis, it showed here that we've got some uh, unmapped phonemes. 
And so this is the, the final um, task is to map these outstanding uh, phonemes to the visemes. So uh, all we do here is we can go in and we can edit the viseme map. So I'm just going to show that for a moment. And um, so these, these are the outstanding visemes. So here's our visine map. So I've got them. Um, there's a there's a th sound. So just find the um, the th visine and sort of manually put that in here. Yeah. And we've got we've got an an ooh sound. Maybe that's like a word like horse's hoof or something like that. So that's like a like an ooh or an o sound. So find the uh, the o visine and that's here. Type that in, and we've got one more at the end. This NB busy. So that's um, that will be an N sound, and so that's that's all the uh, the outstanding visims that are mapped. So all I've got to do is save my uh, visim map. So that's all the visims that um, are now mapped, and if I update the visims. Our interface has now shown us that we're ready to generate keyframes, so we can do that. So uh, I'll just uh, click the uh, the generate keyframes button, and if we look at our model now, we've got keyframe data. Excellent, and that's generated all the keyframes for our animation. So let's have a little look to see what we've got. That's great. So all we've got to do is render that out. So here's a quick render I put together using the uh, Arnold renderer. And instead of rendering, I could have output to a game engine. But this is just to see what our lip sync looks like with uh, the default settings. So let's have a look. The quick beige fox jumped in the air over each thin dog. Look out, I shout, for he's foiled you again, creating chaos. Cool. Well, that's not a perfect lip sync animation, but it's a good enough starting point for an animator to get in there and start like messing around with the nuances and bring the character alive. And that takes so much of the pain out of having to set up every single mouth shape for all the different words.